All right, so Pong AR, when we're building it, we're probably gonna really just think about uh, two different elements of, of, the, of the game. There'll be the, the, uh, the scene that we build, that'll have like, a, I'll, I'll write it down, we have like the scene which will have the, uh, the bounds of the, of the Pong game. So you'd have like, from a top down view, maybe look something like this. And you'd also have the paddles, two paddles, and you'd also have the ball. Um, one, one extra thing we're going to have is we're going to have behind each of the paddles, I'm going to do it in green because this will be like a, oh it's too bright, here we go. It'll, it'll be, this will be like a collider without, we won't, we won't, you won't actually be able to see it. And that'll have, it'll have two purposes, it'll be, yeah, there'll be one behind, behind this paddle as well. It'll have two purposes, one of them will be if the ball goes past the paddle, when it hits this this uh, this uh, boundary, um, we'll we'll know that you know uh, this guy's scored a point. The other reason is if we decide that we want to use the mouse to control the the paddle, or or in the case of a phone, use a touch input, where uh, through the screen, wherever you touch, we can what we can do is we can cast a ray until it hits this collider, and where wherever it hits this this collider is going to be where we want the paddle to move to. So yeah, that'll be the two purposes of those, uh, those, those two boundaries. Okay, and the other, yeah, the, the other thing we're going to be making is scripts. Uh, only a few of them, only, uh, well, let's see, we're going to need a, we're going to need a, a ball, a ball script. So that's just going to tell it to, you know, like when you start the game, start moving, you know, if it hits, one of these, if it hits one of these side, one of these side uh, side boundaries, it's gonna, um, the velocity is gonna, you know, invert. So, you know, like, whatever direction it's going here, just invert that, and yeah, you sort of get the reflection. Okay, so we'll call that the ball script. Um, we'll also need a, an AI controller, which is just gonna, you know, it's gonna know about the ball and just follow it, and we can control how quickly it does that, but, you know, like a, a Difficulty level. Okay, so we'll do an AI controller. Okay, we're going to need a player controller. That's just going to listen for the touch input, and that's going to move the move the player paddle accordingly. Player controller. Okay, and the. Uh, the uh, only other thing we really need to do is if we want to have a like a, a score keeper, you know, and maybe we want a UI. So yeah, so we'll have like a we'll call it a game manager. Game manager, and and that can that can just increment the scores um, as 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 the ball you know hits what hits these uh, outer boundaries and and each player scores a point. Yeah, so yeah, so maybe maybe in the scene in the scene we'll have a UI here. Just have like player. You know, and a score, say like one, and and you know, computer. You know, that they'll have a score as well. So, something like that. Yeah, all right. So let's get cracking.